Islamist activists on the streets to enforce a countrywide general strike. They threw homemade bombs and put up barricades to ensure people remained indoors. Soon, clashes broke out. Police retaliated with massive force. Rubber bullets were fired as the police tried to bring the situation under control. Similar clashes have been reported in many parts of Bangladesh. Around 25 people have been killed since last Thursday night. The latest clashes were sparked by the execution of this man, Abdul Qadir Mullah, a senior leader of the Jamaat Islami Party. He was found guilty of crimes against humanity during the country's independence war in 1971. But human rights activists have criticized the trial, saying it falls short of international standards. However, many Bangladeshis support the execution and some feel it's long overdue. No doubt the war crimes trials have polarized this nation. The country is already reeling under weeks of transport blockade by the main opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party. The BNP wants the Prime Minister to resign before the elections due in January. The protests by Islamists have added to the tension. Bangladesh is on the edge as the country prepares for yet another round of unrest. Anbarasnathirajan, BBC News.